President Biden is, is set to share the stage with two of his predecessors tonight for a major fundraiser in New York City. Former Presidents Barack Obama and Bill Clinton will join Biden at Radio City Music Hall to rally support for his reelection. Thousands are expected to attend, and the Biden campaign says they expect to raise $25 million, making it the largest fundraiser in history. Biden's challenger, former Republican President Donald Trump, has kept a low profile in recent weeks as he faces mounting legal trouble. But last night, his campaign sent two fundraiser emails ahead of the Democrats' big event, calling on supporters to donate to his campaign in order to beat what he calls the, quote, Obama-Clinton cartel. Campaign reporter Jake Rosen is following the latest on this and joins me now with more. Uh, Jake, Biden could make some fundraising history tonight. Is this a threat to Trump's campaign? Well, it's certainly a big step for President Biden as he tries to get his campaign fully geared up for the general. We've seen his fundraising numbers so far more than double former, uh, former President Trump's numbers. So obviously Biden has an advantage right now, but basically the event tonight and kind of the action that Biden has taken the last couple of weeks, being in battleground states, raising a significant amount of money after his charged up State of the Union. You know, former President Trump has a fundraiser scheduled for him with some wealthy, wealthy donors uh, next week. But as of right now, you know, this big influx of cash is critical to President Biden's reelection efforts. Okay, also want to ask you, Jake, about Trump's strategy. Uh, we know he is set to attend the wake of New York City police officer Jonathan Diller, who was fatally shot during a traffic stop this week. Tell us more about why this may be significant to his campaign. Well, former President Trump, since the beginning of his campaign and even 2016, has called out the crime rates in major cities like New York. And lately, as former President Trump has faced you know, a federal or a state prosecution there and has been charged locally, he's attacked local prosecutors for their handling of crime. And this police officer being killed factors kind of right into that. Former President Trump will be there today. His campaign told me that he was invited to this event to go speak. But basically, I think the big thing here is to remember that Donald Trump's campaign is built on how he wants to make people feel about how safe they were in cities when he was president. And, you know, we've seen this wave of crime from people who are in the country illegally, but also who are here legally and maybe were allowed back on the streets. And it's these, you know, very select examples. I'll also point to Lake and Riley in Georgia as kind of these, you know, cases that former President Trump has brought up repeatedly on the campaign trail and on his social media site to make the case that he is the better option in 2024. Okay, Jake, thank you.